Hello, and welcome to another session of San Francisco by Night, Hunter the Vigil. Tonight, emotions run high. As secrets are revealed, stories are told, and lies are discovered. Our scene takes us to the house of Officer Christine Justice, who is now alone in the house as Nick is out working tonight. Valentine has a meeting tonight. After an hour of waiting, what is Valentine doing? The, re the scheduled time should be about five minutes from now. She is a mess. She is anxious. She is worried. She's really she is everything. She's hurt. She's sad. She is um, a bomb of emotions rolled up into a metal box. Currently, right now, she'll be um, trying to make sure everything is... She's run over this checklist like five times. She's, she's Yes, because it's going to be an emotional day. She got the Neapolitan. <laughs> Alright. Eventually, you hear a knock at the door. <sighs> okay. Checks last time in the mirror. Okay. Compose, compose. She's gonna walk up to the door. And she is gonna open it. Five men with guns stand armed, ready to point at no God one. damn it! Uh, <laughs> no. Um, no. Uh, you see the familiar form in a, a somewhat casual wear with a, a jack on to help with the rain and a a white t-shirt with kind of a weird logo on it, uh, blue jeans, boots, and you see Vetslana with her hair let down, and she has she's standing kind of sideways to you. Hey. Hi, hey. How, how you feeling? I'm, uh, I'm a little better. Yeah, same. I'm here, come inside. Let's get that coat off of you. It's got to be drenched. Yeah. Um. I got coffee and tea ready to go. If you want either, I also just some, just some coffee. I'll be fine. All, all right. I go and I make the coffee the way she likes it. She'll sit down across the round table from you. I'll put our two cups at, cups down. Sit across Thanks. from her. Uh, yeah, my, my pleasure. So. So. Where do you want to start? <sighs> um. I want to start. Uh. How are you about all this? Like, like, I can't imagine. It's, um, it's something you learn to deal with over time, but the fact that you were still here kept me going. I, uh, it, came pretty close there. I, um... I almost ended. But... knowing that what I did was not the end kept me going. Seeing you happy with your new life and... being able to be a part of that kept me going. You, you know me. I'm... I make do. I'm okay. Like... Fuck, I don't even know what to say. I thought I'd have stuff to say. It's 
So you were in the woods that day. Mm hmm. How did you find us? Like, that was a spontaneous thing we did. My kind is very good at finding people. Make Makes sense. My title is that of a tracker, at least in terms of simplifying it down. It's what I do. I find things that are hidden. Hmm. You aren't looking for something else out there, were you? No. Although I did smell an odd sensation out there, I was mostly looking for you. Aww. You know, if it makes you feel any better about that whole thing, you were very pretty. <laughs> she gives a little bit of a she gives a little bit of a blush and says, "Thank you." I mean. You were still pretty, you know, pretty sudden, but honestly, I had actually... I actually, my natural color. I'd actually dye my hair like this black to uh, throw people off a bit, but my natural hair color is white. That's rare. Most people have to pay for that. Mm -hmm. You know what? I think one time I did see some white roots, but I never said anything because I thought it'd make you feel self-conscious. So, why, why did you change, like, shift back then? You mean the incident? Yeah. My kind is born with an innate rage. We are forsaken. Our species has committed crimes that are considered by beings of power to be unforgivable. We are beings of anger and emotion. Sometimes we lose control. And we lose control more so than you might say in a fit of rage or a act sometimes it's uncontrollable and that day I encountered an enemy that enemy almost killed me using the gift or should say the metal of the moon and when this happens to us, it sends us into what we call a frenzy, a rage. I went into a rage. Hmm. Fucking silver, am I right? <laughs> So you're telling me they had like a silver bullets or something? Like they knew you were coming? She pauses for a moment. Sorry, I had to go to AFK there. She uh, kind of looks and nods and says, yes, I was attacked by silver. Fuck. <sighs> I 
this is she kind of wipes away like a non-existent tear like it's just an impulse at this point she's Why, why did you stay with me? Our kind has an impulse to hunt. It is in our nature. My hunting involves that of searching for things, discovering things, pushing back certain One thing that I dedicated myself to was the location of those who hurt friends and family. And you were being hurt by others even though you didn't uh, ask for it and therefore I took on that position. I felt it was a bit of reconciliation for what had happened why I helped you even though it cost me my job at the precinct hmm so now I have to work as a private investigator granted business has been good because I'm good at what I do <laughs> I guess you could say you have a nose for it I'm just sorry I can't go into the files for any more for you. That that helped us a lot though. Which shit, we still haven't done that case. That's still open. The serial killings. Oh fuck, that's right. Actually, I've actually run into that guy. You have? Fucker kicked me so hard in the head that I, they threw me into the fucking harbor. What can you tell me about him? Well, me and my part, well, forced partner refer to him as Desperato looking dude. He wears a trench coat. He always fucks around with reality where, you know, you think you got a drop on him suddenly, like, you get lost in the trees. There's like suddenly you're in like this made up fort. It's some weird vampire bullshit. And from what he monologued, as villains do, I guess. Fuck, I'm fighting villains now. <gasps> Anyways, he uh, he was like, I want like the bleh. I want to expose the vampire, the people to vampires, so that. They know who their real world monsters are. Hmm. What I know about most kindred, that would be... I don't know much, but... Sounds like something they wouldn't want to do. No, I think he's some sort of... He doesn't seem very popular. I see. And then, we're pretty sure he's in league with... Remember that night when you were being, uh, when you were chained to the wall and there was that random goth... What, what do you know about that goth bitch? Ah, uh, her. Um... I don't know a lot about her other than that she... I don't understand what she can do, but what I can understand, she can bend reality to her will at times. Yeah, I got a taste of that when she like looked at me, winked, and disappeared. And then we were I do stuck. Not know, I do not know her name or anything else about her, though. I just remember the smell. Well, she knows me. Unfortunately. Like, then we best be careful. 
Yeah. I swear I... God, I'm gonna blow that bitch's head off. <sighs> so... Back on topic a little bit. So you said you were with me because it's your hunt. Or your your deal. My hunt and my personal reconciliation. So, were we friends before that, or did you just... We were. Okay, I don't, I don't want this relationship to be like a weird guilt thing, like... No, I was, I was there, and you were my friend. I considered you that. Okay. I was just worried that my jokes would have run you off. No. <sighs> I've heard words. <laughs> Gotta try harder then. Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck. And it's official at this point that everybody I know is some sort of supernatural thing. When your eyes get lift, when the veil becomes lifted off your eyes, you tend to see, you tend to notice the things you didn't before more than the mundane. Hmm. The unnatural becomes more noticeable. In the end, nothing really changes, you just notice them more. Was there something off about me before the incident, though? She thinks for a moment. She seems like she's really trying to think about it. Um, she pauses and she says, Well, there was the fact that you were promoted really quickly. I legitimately assumed I was just really good at my job. Hmm. Oh, fuck. The fuck does that even mean? I'm not sure. <sighs> uh, shit's... Hey, what happened at the restaurant with you and Cassius and Lady in Red? I got careless. The kindred have a unnatural ability to mess with the minds of others. I let my guard down and I suffered for it. Who got shot? Cassius. Ah, shit. I kind of figured, though. I've known him for some time. You two are cute. You two are cute. <laughs> Why, thank you. What were you trying to do?
I was hunting. For anybody or just your own reason? Or my sister. Add a character, do I know she has a sister? No. She never talked about it, ever. You didn't tell me... God, do I just never shut up? Her name is Scarlet. You met her. Was she the lady? At least, at, at least if you came through the front door, you would have met her. I noticed a lady in red, but I didn't really think about it. That was probably her. Wait. Wait, wasn't she at the restaurant? She was. She was the reason I let my guard down. There's no way she would have... She actually fucked with you. <sighs> she just goes quiet. Oh, V. Oh my god. She is not of the living anymore. She is no longer my sister. Not if she's willing to do that to you. No. But I've accepted that now. And I will not be chained to the wall like an animal again. Let me help you. No, we're not going to go kill her. Okay. Kind of robotic blush, like, oh. Uh, then what's your plan? That hunt is at an end. My plan now is to do what I was doing. Keep the peace, keep mankind and humanity from being eradicated. Try and keep the gauntlet free. Doing what I was always doing. Hmm. And you are a part of our task now, aren't you? In regards to working for Section 9 or the fact that I'm part werewolf? The fact that you are now hold the blood of the wolf in you. Yeah, I guess I am. You are marked. All of our kind will be able to notice you now. That is both good and bad. I'd imagine... Not the attention I want. I'd hate to just show up to a party and everyone's like, oh good, we're all wolves here, just everyone shifts and I just fall into the corner and cry. She goes quiet again. I'm not gonna say... I'm going to say I'm doing okay, but I'm not going to say it's easy, but... Kind of reaches over and takes her hand, like... But I don't hold that against you, and... Really, it is just what it is. Okay. I'm so sorry that... I know, I really, I, I'm so sorry that I've always told you about my struggle and I, I feel so, I can't imagine what I put you through. Sorry. Right. It's, it's really I'm, not. I'm, I'm the one who is to blame. 
But I can't imagine putting you put, putting someone I care about through that. That's just I never would have wanted to hurt to you just had to sit there and be quiet. Oh god. I'm so sorry. It is not through victory that our true strength of character is shown. It is through failure. I am trying to get better. I am trying to get stronger, because more so than ever now, I need to be. She nods. Especially since um, there's like that, that werewolf that, you know, marked me. He like wants me to be a part of his pack or something, but it's only like him, another Riker. marked him. Yeah. We know of him. Do you also think he's an idiot? He's an idiot, but there is potential there. Uh, Especially with someone of that power. Yeah. Apparently the first time he changed, he like... When he marked me, apparently he lost control, and apparently if I hadn't... broke that day... We had all been fucked. Mm. Also, there's the fact he's a criminal, so I'm, I don't know how to feel about him. The path to retribution does make for strange bedfellows. <laughs> Tell me about it. Um. Something I want to ask of you. It's going to be kind of yeah. weird. I'd kind of like I knew if you're comfortable. I know it's probably I don't know how, like the taboos of asking people this, but. Can I see that wolf again? She if... kind of tilts her. She kind of tilts her head at you. Kind of says, "Okay." Like she, uh, she blushes for a moment, sets the mug down, goes out, stands in the middle of the room. <sighs> okay, hold on one second. Hold on one second. Let me. Okay. When a werewolf shifts, it's not like the movies. Oftentimes it shows the wolf coming out of the skin or the brutal and cracking of bones and bending and twisting. The real shift is nothing like that. It is, if anything, instantaneous. There is a blur Vetslana one moment, and then the next, there is a beautiful white wolf sitting on the floor. 